Being a teenager has its challenges. Imagine being a young person living with cystic fibrosis. The movie Five Feet Apart, released in early March, highlights how hard it can be when someone with CF wants to interact with another CF patient. It's been 22 long years battling cystic fibrosis. Livingston resident Raymond Diaz was diagnosed with the genetic disease when he was about six months old. Growing up with CF, it was pretty easy until maybe like started to notice that it would take effect like maybe around my junior to senior year. Right around the time Raymond would be applying for colleges, living out his teen years, the CF was flaring up. I would say it definitely makes doing schoolwork and having friends, I mean, like getting all those things done, making time to hang out with people and then, you know, keeping the relationships you have with people. <coughs> The disease causes a buildup of thick, <coughs> sticky mucus in the lungs. It definitely makes it hard to maintain everything. So you have to try your best to explain to people your situation. Patients suffer ongoing lung infections and CF makes it hard for them to breathe over time. Unfortunately, a lot of them are in the hospital frequently from a young age. And, you know, naturally, despite all the infection control guide, guide, guidelines, the parents and the patients become aware of each other. These days with social media, it becomes even easier for them to get to know each other. Dr. David Lee is the director of the Cystic Fibrosis Center at UCSF Fresno, the only accredited CF clinic for children and adults in the Central Valley. He says it's a universal medical rule. Those who have cystic fibrosis cannot be within six feet of another CF patient or anyone with a cold, flu, or infection due to a much higher risk of cross-infection. There are strict infection control guidelines for CF patients because when they have thick secretions in their lungs, they have difficulty getting rid of bugs that they breathe in. Six feet apart at all times, you both know the rules. The new Hollywood film Five Feet Apart that debuted in early March highlights the struggles young people with CF go through. The two young characters who each have CF fall in love but cannot be within six feet of each other. I like it that it's bringing awareness to, because like, not a lot of people know about it and then whenever like I'm coughing, I notice that some people like, are like, mm, like, what's wrong with that guy? But they don't know. And maybe it'll bring awareness and then they will know. Dr. Lee says he knew a real life couple who both had CF and maintained a romantic relationship. It sure is, is not recommended, but I think the greatest story it's still about love, it's still about the relationships, and we have to respect that. Though Raymond's girlfriend does not have CF, he credits her love and support to getting through the bad days. I felt like it made me do things, push myself more, go to the gym, be more active, swim more. More than 30,000 people in the U.S. have CF, and more than 70,000 have it worldwide. There is currently no cure for cystic fibrosis. My ultimate hope is that they live as long and as a fulfilling life that they would want. And there is a lot of hope that one day there will be a cure so young people like Raymond can continue to thrive. I'm excited about finishing college. I want to become a history teacher, so eventually I want to do that. Um, get my own house, <coughs> brand new car, <laughs> possibly kids, all kinds of things. Yeah. According to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, the six-foot rule still applies to CF patients who have undergone a lung transplant because they can still get and spread dangerous germs, among others, with CF. For more information on cystic fibrosis, visit the website cff.org.